Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Is the lawn too much? So today, if you haven't noticed by my wand, my sign back here, and I'm also wearing my Harry Potter Hogwarts shirt, which is green, which is perfect for today because today I'm going to be reviewing the Ulta and Harry Potter collection. And this recently got released, I think, back at the end of July. And it's now the end of August, and they're already sold out, from what I can tell, of all of the palettes on their website. And when I went to go buy the Harry Potter collection stuff at my um, local Ulta, there was only like two lipsticks left, one lip gloss, and no palettes at all. I ended up calling my mom, who lives back in Mississippi, and I said, please try and go to Ulta, see if they have it, because they say they're out of stock online. I can't even order it, and I have to have it. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. So she is the best mom in the world and went to Ulta, and they have the Harry Potter palettes, and they have the Slytherin one, which is the one I wanted because I am a Slytherin. Um, I've been a Harry Potter fan my whole life. I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. And so today I'm really excited to get into this Harry Potter Ulta collection. So a few embarrassing things about me. I am a Slytherin. I took the Harry Potter quiz on the Pottermore website. I actually took another quiz that someone created that claims it's all possible questions from the Pottermore website. And I was also a Slytherin on that one. So I have a bunch of Slytherin t-shirts and Slytherin themed items. I actually used to get a subscription box. It was from Geek Gear and they have an amazing Harry Potter subscription box that comes every three months I think and I got that as a present one year and I was obsessed with it so I have a ton of little knickknacks. I have a room full of stuff. I might pop up some pictures of my Harry Potter obsession so when I saw the Ulta release a Harry Potter makeup collection I was really really excited so today I want to go through what all they released and what I was able to get my hands on and show you some of that stuff. I really wish you could see it's such a cute little shirt. I can't see it. Okay, so first let's go over the palettes. Uh, like I said, I got the Slytherin palette and I definitely have a lot of opinions, but I'll give you guys a quick look. It's a nine pan palette, I guess you could say, and they came out with, of course, a Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw, and they are all sold out on their website. Um, I did, there weren't any in my store. When my mom went and got this one, she said they only had this one in the Ravenclaw one, I think, or they only had one other one. I don't remember which one it was, but luckily they had this one, and when I went online originally, which was a few weeks ago, they just said out of stock for the palettes, but I went to the website yesterday before I filmed this, and they don't even have them on the website at all anymore. So I also want to go over a few other things they have. The other thing I have for this video is I have one of the lip crayon lipsticks and one of the lip glosses. So some of the other things they had um, was some nail strips, just little things you can pretty much glue onto your nails um, for each house and they had a face and body shimmer and that would have been interesting. I really wanted to get my hand on this Harry Potter Pygmy Puff Jelly Blush just because it just seems really interesting and unique and I've never used a blush like that but they were sold out at my Ulta store so I didn't get that. They had a Harry Potter Quidditch face mask set. And they also had some little cute cosmetic bags for each house. And they had a lip balm, Harry Potter Bewitching PH lip balm, and a Harry Potter Hogwarts House body lotion. So the only other things they had at my, uh, my local Ulta store were they had some of the makeup bags, which they're $16, and I wasn't super interested in getting one of those. I feel like you could get better quality makeup bags for that price. And they also had some of the nail strips. And 
as you can see, my nails are not painted. I never really do anything to my nails. I do work in construction, so putting something like on something like that on my nails is really just a waste of money for me. So I didn't get those, but I am going to show you the palette and lipstick and lip gloss. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with the eyeshadow palette. So like I said, this is a nine color palette. It originally cost $16, but I don't know if they're going to restock it or not. Um, so if you can go to an Ulta, you may be able to get your hands on this, but right now they are not on their website. So I got the Slytherin one, and it comes with basically the description of the house from the books up here. And then they have the shades, and I'm going to show a quick picture of all these swatched on my arm, but basically we have some neutral shades here with some shimmers, and then they have, of course the greener shades, two green shimmers, one matte, and if it looks like I already messed with this one, it's because when my sister brought this to me from my mom, we were both messing around with it, looking at all the shadows and stuff, and we ended up dropping it on the ground, and this was our attempt to fix it. I think she did a pretty good job fixing it. Just to start out on my opinions of this, the packaging I think is really cute. Obviously, I love the little cunning ambition and pride on here, and I kind of wish this was the actual Slytherin logo instead of just a snake head, but I still think it's really cute, and I like the little holographic imprint they have on here. I mean, it is cardboard, so it does feel a little cheap, I guess, but it was only $16, and I like the size of it. I don't really like really huge palettes because you can't travel with them so this one would definitely be an easy little palette to travel with. Now as far as the actual shades, I really have an issue with the shade names. I think any Harry Potter fan could have come up with better Slytherin themed shade names like for example Herb, like come on. I mean you have Ivy and Elm and the only ones that I really feel like are super Harry Potter themed are the Black Lake. I do like the name of that one. And Fluffy, but I feel like that should have been personally a Gryffindor name because of Hagrid and Harry, Ron, and Hermione are the ones that deal with Fluffy. But, I mean, and Baron. Baron is the, Bloody Baron is the house ghost of Slytherin, so I'm okay with that one. But as far as the others... I think you could have been much more original with these shade names. And then as far as the colors go, personally, I know some people uh, might have had a problem that this wasn't pretty much all green shades. There's a good amount of like neutral browns. But I feel like this is better for more everyday wear. You can really make more everyday looks with this palette. My only issue with that is if you go and look at the other four palettes, and I'll put some pictures up of the other four while I'm talking about this, these have very similar shades in all four. Like, like this shade, these neutral colors are almost in every other palette. So I don't really understand the point of that, but let's see how they actually apply to the eye. I think what I'm gonna try and do is mainly just do the green shades. I mean, this is a Slytherin palette, so I'm going to do a green look with maybe some black in it. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, you will know that I am no makeup expert. I am no makeup artist. I'm very new to makeup, so don't expect me to do this eye look and for it to be the most amazing green eye look you've ever seen. But I think this will be good for people out there that don't use makeup all the time and aren't professional artists and stuff to see really how these can look. Um, from an amateur doing it. So I'm first gonna take this shade Pebble and put it all over the eye just to lay down kind of a base. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this shade Herb, kind of in the crease and bring it up a little bit further than the crease. I'm gonna use this as a transition shade. that does go on a little bit patchy for me personally. 
I'm going to try and keep blending that out, but it does look a little bit patchy right now. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some of Black Lake and mix it a little bit with Herb and fill in this outer corner here and try and just darken this shade because now that I'm looking at it, it is a little bit irritating that there's only one matte green. I wish there was just one more, maybe a darker shade of green. taking me a long time to blend these shades together. Okay, now I'm going to go in right kind of in the center with this darker shimmer shade Toad, and then on the inner corner, I'm going to go in with Ivy and blend those two together. I do really like the shimmer shades. Sometimes with shimmers, they just kind of have the shimmer part and not really the pigmentation. So I'm liking that the green is still really showing up on the eye. So now I'm going to go back in with Herb, that green matte shade, and just go over my crease a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in and try and blend this corner in because it's still looking patchy. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this really pretty silvery shimmer called Moon and put that right here on the inner corner. Okay, for the bottom lash line, I'm going to go all the way across with this shade Toad and then make it a little darker on the outer corner with Black Lake. And then I might add a little bit of Ivy when it comes closer to this moon shade that I have in the inner corner. So I put some mascara on and a little bit of concealer underneath my eyebrow and now I'm going to go off camera and finish the other eye and be right back. I did the other eye and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, the mattes were definitely a lot harder to blend than some other shadows I've used but I really really like the shimmers and I think for a green Slytherin look I'm really happy with it so it's a pretty good price and I would definitely recommend it if you're a Harry Potter fan. If you're not a Harry Potter fan, then I would definitely just go ahead and pass on this palette. But if you're a nerd like me, definitely go and try and get your hands on one. I'm sorry if y'all are hearing thunder in the background. It's been storming on and off all day. Typical Florida summer weather. Next, I want to go into the lip crayons. I was able to grab one of them. They only had two different shades available. I got the shade called Hogwarts Letters. Now this is what it looks like. The shade name is here. I really, really love the packaging and shade names for the lip crayons and the lip glosses. I think it's super cute and very within theme of Harry Potter. And this color is, I would describe as kind of a raspberry kind of color. This was $10 and the other shades they have are Amortentia, which is a mauve pink. It's Expecto Patronum, which is a peachy brown nude. And then Hogwarts Letters, which they describe as a mauve plum. And then the darkest shade they have is called Order of the Phoenix, which is a deep wine. And that was the other shade they had available at my Ulta store, but I decided to go with this one. And on each one, it's different little, um, what would you call that? different little graphics on it depending on the shade name which I really really think is super cute. So this is what the lip crayon looks like. I'll spin it all the way up so you can see. Hopefully I don't break it by doing that. So you definitely get a lot of product. Like I said this is only $10 so I think it's a really good buy if it works. Let's find out. 
You definitely see what they meant by plum. It's very purple. I don't know, I just pictured it being a little bit more of a red tint, not so purple. I don't know how often I would wear this particular shade, but it feels really nice. It's not dry at all. It's not sticky. So if you like more of a unique little purple shade, I would de definitely recommend Hogwarts letters. But I think next time, and I would have gotten it if they had it available, I would have gotten that Expecto Patronum shade, which was described as more of a peachy nude. Okay, last but not least, I have the lip gloss and this is in shade platform nine and three quarters once again i love the packaging of the lip crayons and the uh, lip glosses and they have once again four different shades of the lip gloss and they have the shade name with really pretty graphics here and they're all really harry potter related which i love and that's why it's kind of confusing that the eyeshadow palettes did not follow that trend but Oh well, I guess. So when I went, this was the only shade they had at my Ulta store. They have four other shades. They have Hedwig, which is clear with silver shimmer, which I love that name for that shade. They have Howler, which is medium mauve pink. Once again, great shade name. This one is the Platform 9 and 3 quarters, which is described as a peach beige shimmer. And the last one they have is called Spectre Specs, which is a light pink shimmer. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like on my hand. This is the applicator. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little divot in the doe foot, which I know helps hold more product. It has a nice sweet smell to it. I don't know if you can really see it on my hand. It's pretty much clear. Yeah, you can't really even see that. It's pretty much clear. I don't know about the, I bet the only one that will really make a difference in your lip color is probably that Howler shade because it looks a little bit dark on the website. But yeah, there's definitely some little shimmer in here, so. Very glossy. So here's the final look. I definitely wouldn't have picked this shade color with this eye look, but like I said, I was very limited to the shades they had in the store. Now going over the whole collection that I was able to at least try, I really like the packaging of everything. I mean, these are really cute. I love the size of these palettes. I think it's a great little size. I love, love, love the packaging of the lip crayons and the lip glosses. And I like how big the lip glosses are. Um, most lip glosses are kind of long and skinny. I like that this one's kind of bigger. And I love the shade names on these. The, some of the things I didn't like was definitely the shade names here. I know I've talked about it a lot. And then the mattes on here. I didn't get to try fluffy, but it just took a long time to blend these shades together. The shimmers, um, I got to try Ivy, Toad, and Moon. I really, really did like the shimmers. And I'm definitely going to try out a neutral look with this palette because it's got some great little plum, goldish shades that I tend to gravitate towards anyways. I don't really have anything negative to say about the lip crayon or the lip glosses. I really like the formula. It feels really good. Um, it definitely comes off. I don't really go for lipsticks that are super long lasting because it's just so hard to get the lipstick off. Yeah, I definitely really enjoyed that Harry Potter collection. Like I said, the palettes are currently out of stock as of today, and today I think it's August 20, no, August 30th today. So right now the palettes are out of stock. Um, I'm sure some stores still have them, so. If you're a big Harry Potter fan and if you like to get stuff that's for your particular house, I would definitely go recommend and grab one of these palettes. I think they're a really great price for what they are. And definitely, definitely, definitely go get yourself the lip crayon and the lip glosses. They are just so cute. 
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As always, that information is down below and stay tuned next time for my next video. Bye guys.